Okay guys, so here's a story about the Savage XL that you guys saw me post about. So, this truck fell into my lap here, uh, kind of unexpectedly. <laughs> so my buddy bought three Savages, this was one of them, and it was two Savage XLs, the 5.9 model. And uh, the one 5.9, you guys saw the video, that's all destroyed. Um, that was out of one of those trucks. But anyways, he said, if you can get me one truck that's running and I can have the other one for parts and all that other shit, then you can have one of the Savages. And I thought, well, okay. He goes, which one do you want? I says, well, you want the XL. And there's a whole other XL chassis complete. Um, and the parts are all interchangeable. So he goes, well, you can have the X model. Then I'm like, perfect. So he gave me this guy. And it's got RPM A-arms in the front. Not in the rear, but uh, it's got the uh, 4.6 or F4.6 HPI engine. And it's got an SH carburetor on it. Well, that doesn't matter, but, uh, yeah, the engine's pretty tired. Uh, there's not much pinch left, but I do have another piston and sleeve available for it, uh, that I got in a lot of parts, oh, maybe five years ago or something now. And so that's going to go in there with a new connecting rod. But the problem is, for whatever reason, I cannot find the rear bearing for this engine. I think it's a 14 by 25 by 6. I think that's what's supposed to be in here. And... <laughs> I usually go with uh, SKF bearings or um, NTN or uh, at MSK or whatever, Koyo, things like that. Just I go to my bearing supplier and order high carbon steel bearings for high RPM. And uh, that's usually what I run without any issue. Because, um, I mean, shit, you guys in the States, you know, will go into an RC website and they'll sell a set of ceramic bearings to you guys for 13 bucks, free shipping. And over here, they want like 28 bucks for the bearings and $50 shipping. <coughs> excuse me anyways so pretty annoying um so i've been having a hell of a time trying to find a rear bearing for it got a front uh which is good but um yeah so it doesn't currently run i mean like the connecting rod is literally like ka-chunk chunk on the crank and yeah it's had a, a few hot suppers but um yeah we're gonna rebuild it and throw it back in there i was gonna throw my uh well i guess mine now but a, a dynamite big red in there but it's equally as worn out which i wasn't aware of so i guess i'm kind of hooped there and the SH28P3, well, that's also set up for extreme high compression, so I'll have to swap head buttons and fart around with that. Then it needs bearings, too, so kind of, <laughs> well, everything kind of needs a little bit of work. But, uh, yeah, so he's like, well, yeah, if you get my other trucks going, he goes, you can have this. So, I was like, right on. It's all there in really nice shape and everything else. Just going to get some radio gear for it, and um, this plastic pipe is getting 86. That's going right in the fuck it bucket where it belongs, because... Uh, well, the bug doesn't do plastic pipes. That's just not my style, man. But like a nice ERCM pipe to go in there would be freaking cool. But uh, I'll see what I can come up with. But as far as that, I mean, like all the uh, little drive cups and stuff are all in really nice shape. Nothing's like egged out or wallered out or anything really. So, I mean, I think it was mostly just running the pavement. You know, maybe a little bit of dirt, but... Yeah, so I'm happy with it, and uh, Brian, if you're watching, thanks, buddy. I really appreciate it, but uh, that's Basher Brian. You guys don't really know who he is. He doesn't like to be on video and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, the chassis plate's a little bit bent on one side. I think they're actually both bent. They look like it. Yeah, they are. <coughs> Sorry about that. I saw that stupid COVID cough that won't go away, but um, the nice thing is when he gave me this truck, it actually has an extra set of... Um, Extra set of chassis plates, so I guess the guy bought them and just never installed them because it's a pain in the ass. But, um, yeah, it's not really, not too hideous, and all the bearings and stuff are nice. But, um, yeah, this is going to make more of an appearance um, more uh, more frequently, especially when the, well, it's snowing and shitty out here, obviously. But, uh, you know, as soon as the weather gets better and stuff like that, and I get this old uh, 4.6 repaired, and I'll make a video about that for sure, because I know you guys love those videos. And I'll throw some radio gear in it. I'll probably rob the radio receiver out of the T-Max because I'm on a budget. So, and uh, the T-Max is, uh, well, it's done. It runs actually pretty good. Well, I mean, I haven't run the new engine in there yet or the rebuilt with the HD connecting rod. But that's, uh, you guys will see that in the springtime when it warms up here. So, and that's all transmissions fixed and differentials are fixed and clutches fixed. And, yeah, it's all fixed up. But, uh yeah, I'm going to hang up the T-Max for a bit, and uh, I haven't had a Savage in a long time, so 
you guys saw the, well, at least some of my older subscribers will know that I had a Savage 25. Sorry about that. A few years ago. And uh, I sold that because I couldn't get parts for it anymore. And it was like impossible and nothing fit it. And it was just, everything was all stripped and there was fucking Roberts and screws and there, yeah, it was just a nightmare. And some dude bought it off me and then he fixed it up and sold it to another guy. And that guy found me on YouTube and he showed up at my house one day to uh, buy some, I think, what was it? T-Max parts off me or something like the factory uh, plastic because <laughs> I converted all mine to RPM. Obviously you guys know that, but um, yeah, so now I have another one. And people go, well, what kind of savages have you had? Well, I had the original 21 when it came out. I had the 25, I had the SS 4.6 that had, what the hell engine was that? That was a Pico 27, the green head, the crazy looking one. I used to have one of those and it had all sorts of cool stuff. It had a Mac pipe on it. It was pretty wild. That thing went like snot. I missed that truck. That was one of the ones I lost in the fire when a, a lipo battery killed itself and took out everything, including my motocross bikes. Pissed me off. But anyways, that's a different story. But, um, yeah, so just a little bit of an update on this, I guess, and uh, just kind of waiting on a little bit of everything to come in here, and we'll make some more uh, rebuild vids of that 3.3 and with the handmade rod in it and a few other things, and, yeah, it's actually pretty clean, aside from a couple of bends in the chassis and a few things kind of being out of whack and just needing just a little bit of TLC. But uh, until then, as always, guys, thanks for watching. And... Uh, Merry Christmas. If that offends you, then fuck right off. But anyways, uh, as always, keep on burning nitro. Later.